There's a song by the band Rat from the 1980s, and it says, It's so easy to forget. What you give is what you get. Bill Maher gets candid about David Koch's death. I'm glad he's dead. If only that was all he said. Oh, let's go further. Let's see. The billionaire businessman who built a conservative political empire with his brother Charles died after many years of fighting various illnesses, according to the Koch Industries. During Friday's episode of Real Time with Bill Maher, the late night host rejoiced in Koch's death, saying, explicative him, I'm glad he's dead. Okay. Okay. Uh, the biting words came after several jokes about businessman who is known for the empire he and his brother, uh, let's see, funded and aimed at promoting conservative policies. That's actually not true. It was libertarian policies. But why would we expect the media to get anything right in these days? Hello, and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel, where the party is just getting started. Current events looked at through a skeptical eye using science, history, and sometimes humor to explore the events of the day. Let's get down to business. I'm not gonna, it's just, I'm not going to read the whole thing of all the horrible jokes. I'll, I'll do some to give you some idea. He continued, As for his remains, he has asked to be cremated and have his ashes blown into a child's lungs. Mar added that he know, uh, let's see, that he knows these seem like harsh words, probably because they are, and harsh jokes, okay, uh, and that he's sure he'll be condemned for them on Fox News and YouTube. But... That didn't stop the late night host from doubling down on cock, coke, however you want to say it. He and his brother have done more than anybody to fund climate science deniers. Wow, welcome to the 700s. For decades. So, explicative him. The Amazon is burning up. I'm glad he's dead. And I hope the end was painful, he concluded. Not really sure there's a correlation between uh, the Amazon burning up and him dying, but whatever. So here's all I have to say about this. When you say in public that you are really glad somebody's dead and that you wish nothing but disparaging things on their memory, you can absolutely expect the exact same thing to happen to you when you die. Because any person who is of that mindset and that attitude publicly. Look, there's lots of people that die that we're really kind of glad they're not on planet Earth anymore. But when you make it a public situation, the world hears, and what you give is what you get. Now when Bill Maher dies, which may not be long, he's not a young man either, it will be no shock whatsoever to hear several people reply, quoting exactly what he said about David Koch, David Koch, however you want to say it. It was just like uh, when that one comedian uh, said at a roast, no, it wasn't even a roast, it was one of the presidential things when Obama was president, that she hoped Rush Limbaugh died of liver cancer. Or sometimes, no, that she hoped he died of cancer. And then what happened was, shortly after that, um, it was discovered she had cancer. Suddenly the sympathy wasn't really flying in her direction because you get what you give. So use caution, people out there, if you go beyond rest in peace in public. What you feel in your own heart and what you share with your friends is one thing. But when you make it public, you can almost guarantee it will come back and it will be said of you. And you have no one else to blame but yourself. But the good news is, you'll be dead. So maybe you won't care. We hope you enjoyed the content, and if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, come on back anytime. You're always welcome here as part of the family, and we'll see you in the future.